everyone. Go get your tea. I'll wait. This is a follow-up to my last video, which was about uh, wardrobe planning in a carry-on on a cruise. So we just got back from a cruise. We were very lucky. Coronavirus is huge in the news right now, uh, spreading everywhere. Hope you're safe. We were on an NCL cruise from LA to Mexico with three stops and two excursions. And I'm not going to get into all the details of the ship, but I'll show you a little bit and give you an idea of what it's like. But please, if you would like something more specific about that cruise, let me know and um, I'll gather all the information and make up a video for that. So this cruise was from March 1st to March 8th. The one thing I did not anticipate enough, maybe, was how cold it would be. I did bring some long sleeve things and a, a jacket and some pants, but I could have used a couple more things. Overall, I did really well. This is the part where I learned I should have taken a picture of this. Sorry, but check out my last video and you'll see exactly what I brought. Okay, so I'm reading here, made a list. I brought one jacket, that white one right there. Uh, one long sleeve t-shirt, which was nice and cuddly. Two pairs of shorts. One skirt, one pair of nice black summer pants, one pair of jeans in gray, two t-shirts that were bright and happy, blues, uh, three dresses, a little cardigan thing that went with all of them, two tank tops in case it got really hot, and too much jewelry. It was nice to have the choice, but really didn't need it next time. Mm -mm. I underestimated the weather. There were some warm moments. Jingle is the cat. Hi, pumpkin. But I'd wish I had brought a couple of more things, uh, as in another jacket, uh, something like a, a zipper hoodie, cuddly kind of thing would have been really nice. Maybe like a medium weight. Another scarf. I brought one scarf that was great. I used it all the time, but it would have been nice to have a change up, different color, you know. Uh, that red long sleeve t-shirt thing that I was contemplating in the last video. Should have brought it. Maybe a turtleneck? If you run cold, that sounds totally okay and reasonable. But actually, in this case, maybe one of those turtlenecks with no sleeves would have been perfect. I think I might have brought another pair of pants or jeans. All in all, I did really well. I wore the dresses, I wore, what didn't I wear? I didn't wear the skirt, so I didn't really need the skirt. Didn't really need the black pants either, but I'm glad I had them. The problem came when I tried on the black pants with the black, uh, what do you call it, tank that I brought to go with it, but my mistake was I didn't try it on before I left. I just assumed it would look nice. And when I put it on, so I'm now looking for a different kind of black top for future. What else? What else? It was windy. I sat in the bar looking like that. The wind itself was cool. Uh, being on the ship was pleasant, but again, if you run hot, you could probably just wear your summer clothes and you'd be totally fine. I tend to run cold and there's a couple of times where I did not wear a little jacket, but most of the time I had some sort of jacket or a, a, or a scarf on. As far as makeup and hair went, just kept it really simple. I had two lipsticks and they're both on the light side. One was a little darker for evening or a little brighter. Um, kept it real simple. Mascara, liner, blush. Hair turned out pretty good considering I have very frizzy hair and I only had a hair dryer there. Um, but it wasn't bad. I never stood at the mirror and went, oh my god, my hair. Like in some uh, vacations. So that was good too.
we went on shore three times in Mexico, Cabo, Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta. We had an excursion in Cabo, which was fun. It was uh, taking a, a boat out to see the famous arch they have, to see the sea lion colony. And then we did some fast, fast boating to find whales. There's a couple of them. But the fun part for me was going really fast on those waves. That was amazing. <laughs> Got totally soaked. And then we puttered around and went for food. Mazatlan, we were on our own, but it was very, very restrictive. And we did find some nice places to go and see in a market and a bakery. And I really loved the architecture. Any idea what kind of fruit this is? Please let me know down below. It was in someone's garden in Mazatlan. I'm curious, I've never seen it before. Thanks. We did end up finding a really nice um, beach area that did not feel like it was just for tourists, but much of it is for tourists and you feel it. Then we did another excursion and what was it called? It was Yalepa and so the ship. The ship itself was beautiful. It was, I think, over 4,000 people. So it was quite large. And this is our first cruise. So it was a long time getting on and getting off. It was a good size. There was lots to do for every age. There was families and young and old. And there was something for everyone, which was great. We spent four days at sea. And I don't think anyone was bored. The service was excellent. The food was great to excellent. By the way, got my necklace on board. I've been looking for something like this for ages and I couldn't find it online. And then there it was. Whoa. And they have a little uh, shopping section, little store area and uh, necklaces and earrings and very expensive watches were on major sale discount on the last two days, so you're welcome. This was $40. American. Hi, pumpkin. So all in all, I did really well with the wardrobe stuff, and uh, it's really impossible most of the time to get everything exactly right, but you can get most of it right. Just think of where you're going, what temperature, it might be check your weather network. Will I go on another cruise? Maybe. Not the same one. But if I went on that cruise again, I would definitely go when it was just a slight tad warmer. Happy cruising. Happy wardrobe planning. I love that sort of stuff anyway. Uh, I hope this was helpful in some way. And let me know in comments below if this helped you. If you have any specific questions about this actual cruise, I've got notes. I've got lots of notes. And I can do it. So if you want to know anything about that particular cruise, please let me know down below and I'll make a video of it. Try and get that up real soon. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a great week. I will see you soon. Bye for now.